Mexico warns Trump not to use troops to secure the border, gets brutal response. Mexico has gone loco after threatening President Donald Trump with drug cardinals if U.S. troops are sent to secure the southern border. However, they're getting a brutal response from Trump that they didn't expect. You're going to love this. Following Trump's announcement earlier this week that the United States will be guarding the U.S. Mexico border with military troops until a wall is built, Mexico's Senate voted unanimously to use one of their shithole county's most abundant resources to threaten America and to submission drugs. According to Breitbart, the Mexican Senate voted in favor of a resolution seeking an end to bilateral cooperation with the U.S. against murderous drug cartels. In addition, the resolution passed by the Mexican Senate on Wednesday, April 4, 2018, demands a halt to cooperation with the U.S. of joint efforts to resolve immigration problems. Mexico's nasty threat was immediately sent to the White House, members of the U.S. Congress, and Mexico's foreign relations officer. The document sent to President Trump reads in part, despite everything that is at stake in the relationship between our two countries, the way in which President Donald Trump has behaved is, for the Mexican people, unacceptable and intolerable. The laughable resolution further demands that President Trump show respect to the people of Mexico and condemns the unfounded and offensive expressions about Mexico and Mexicans and the treatment that is needed for a relationship between neighboring countries, partners, and allies. In addition, the Mexican Senate resolution rejects President Trump's plan to militarize the border with Mexico and characterized that move as offensive. By far, the most amusing portion of the resolution calls for Mexico to halt any binational cooperation with the U.S. in resolving immigration matters and fighting transnationally organized crime cartels until Trump acts with civility and respect. Mexico's Senate has got to be filled with a bunch of morons. At a time when a huge piece of their economy is at stake with the renegotiation of NAFTA on the horizon, it's just simply not a good time to start making threats against the U.S. It's hard not to poke fun at Mexico for threatening the U.S. with drugs, but seriously, that's the best thing they can come up with. I find it a little hypocritical for Mexico to threaten the U.S. with consequences for securing our borders to the same extent that they do. There are just so many things that are wrong with the pure quackery taking place in the Mexican Senate. After Mexico's Senate unanimously voted to threaten the U.S. with drugs and illegal immigrants, two things already bombarding the daily lives of Americans, President Trump had a shocking announcement on Thursday which I'm sure came across as brutal news for the Mexican Senate. According to Fox News, President Donald Trump told reporters in West Virginia that he wants 2,000 to 4,000 troops sent to the U.S.-Mexico border to secure it. We have to have strong borders. We're going to have the wall, Trump said. We've started building and fixing miles and miles of wall that's already up and fence and we're gonna have our wall and we're gonna get it very strongly and the military is going to be building some of it. Thank God, we now have a president who responds to nasty threats in a manner that American patriots can be proud of. It's outstanding that Trump doesn't give a hoot about Mexico's hesse fit over sending our troops to secure our southern border. This action by the White House is long overdue. After Congress failed miserably to provide any meaningful funding for Trump's border wall construction, it was only fitting that Trump sends National Guard troops to lend a hand to our hard-working Border Patrol agents. I'd like to see what Mexico's Senate tries to threaten Trump with next. Perhaps they can include third world diseases in their next resolution. Oh wait, they've already sent that over the border.